swing my heart across the line in my face is flashing signs. We, the girls have been, we, we have a lot of girls right now that are working really hard. We have more girls than last year. Everyone is trying to compete for a spot and makes the practice so much better because everyone's working so hard and we, we, we're, just, we're just excited. We're all battling for a spot right now. You know, they're going to have to earn everything this year. Earn it every day and show up to the rink and work hard. And, you know, last year we had three lines, at times less than three lines, and everybody knew they were going to play. This year they're competing for spots in the lineup on a daily basis. So we're holding them accountable, their work ethic on and off the ice. And, uh, you know, the kids that are, that are putting in the effort, that are doing what they need to do, those are the ones that are going to play. Practices have been very competitive. The, uh, the intensity has been ramped real, up real high. And that's what you want. That's how you're going to get better. And, um, you know, too many times teams get, get complacent and they go through the motions. And so far we haven't seen that because um, they know every day they're going to show up and earn their spot on whatever line they're on. So, um, so far it's worked out pretty good. It's so good to have all the girls on the ice and, like, we're having fun and, like, we're just working hard, like compared to last year when we had like so many injuries and where we're going through so much. Now it's like all the girls are together. We have healthy, everyone's healthy and everyone is back. And our freshmen are just, they push us. They push us to be better every day and they're hardworking kids. What makes us as upperclassmen want to work even harder? First week it was kind of deer in the headlights for a lot of them and uh, they've all settled in. And the nice thing is the upperclassmen have really made them feel like part of the team. So it's been an easy adjustment for them. Um, you know, I think it's, it's, they're going to get better and better as we go through the semester. I think we're going to go through some growing pains early on, but even day to day in practice um, and in the two scrimmages, they're all showing signs of improvement and they all want to get better. They're coming in for video. They're doing the little things so they can improve as hockey players. They just, they want to learn from us. We want to learn from them. And I think they're really excited. They, we keep telling them how like, fun it's going to be and how we need to get on this all together. You know, I think Kendall's matured a lot since, since her freshman year. I think that year away at the Olympics, um, she learned a lot as, as a hockey player and, and as a leader. And, um, you know, Chloe's always been a leader. They're two players that lead by example on a daily basis. They're not somebody where if they hold somebody accountable, the, the players, other players on the team say, well, you're not doing what you're preaching. They always, they always practice what they preach, and um, they're great role models for for their teammates and um, you know I think I think all the girls on the team really respect them. It feels good we're trying to bring a new culture and I think everyone is on the same page right now and it's amazing like we're all leaders on this team and everyone has like everyone has their word to say and I think that if we all go together and we all show up to the games as leader I think it's going to be a good year. Well, it kind of sees it's going to see what we're made of right off the bat um, and I it was kind of a little bit by design I wanted us to go through some adversity first. Also, when you have 10 new players, it's good to be on the road because everybody gets to know each other and um, hopefully it brings them closer to, together as a team. But what they're going to go through in October and November, hopefully February and March is going to seem easy from what they've, they've had to endure on the road to start off.